in this video we'll learn how to make a two-way data table in which we vary two inputs okay there we go so the file we're going to work with will be lemonade final i'm going to insert some blank columns here so i can select this range right click insert columns Okay, so we'll deal with the lemonade final one file, sorry, that we just created. Okay, so we're going to learn how to do a two-way data table. Okay, so what happens in a two-way data table for sensitivity analysis? You vary two inputs. And in this case, we'll vary price and unit cost. And you can look at the effect on a single output. In a one-way data table, recall, we could have more than one output. But you can run as many of these as you want, of changing the inputs on a single output, which will be profit in our case. So you list the values of one input going down a row, going down a column. List the values of the other input going sort of across the top row of the table range. And then put the output cell in the upper left hand corner. And then you'll select the range. and choose the appropriate row and column input set. Okay, so let's see how this works. Okay, so again, to refresh your memory, we're looking at a new Starbucks, and we want to know if we change the price and unit cost, what's going to happen to the profit. So let's list values of prices going down. Let's go from $1.50 to $5, let's say. So we could go $1.50, $1.75, and if we select that range, we can drag it down to, let's say, $5, because we're considering prices in that range. Then we go up one row and over one column. So this, these are prices. That's the value of one input. It doesn't matter which input goes listed down, is listed down or across. Then go up one row and over one column. List the values of the other input that makes sense. The other input is unit cost. So we'll go 30 cents through, let's say, 60 cents. I guess I need more columns. So right click, insert columns. Okay. So then I can do 55 and 60. Okay. Now, in the upper left-hand corner, you point to the formula that's your output. Well, that's going to be profit, right? You want to know how profit varies as you change both these inputs. Unit cost. So, profit is right here. I didn't hit the enter key. Okay, and these are unit costs. Okay, so for example, what are we going to get in this cell when we are done with our two-way data table? We will get what the profit is if we charge $2 and the unit cost are, is $0.35. Cents. So we've got how many prices here? We've got row 13. We've got 15 prices and we've got eight unit costs. So really, we are going to generate 120 different scenarios for what the profit could be. And we can really draw some important managerial or business insights from this data table. Okay, so now we're going to select the table range. Now the row input cell will be where the numbers in the first row should be placed. They should be their cost, so they should go in D3. The column input cell is where the numbers in the first column should go. They are prices. They should go in D1. Control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow, data, what if analysis.
data table. Okay, row input cell. The numbers in the first row, they're going to be costs, right? Unit costs. Numbers in the first column are going to be prices. And then if I click OK, this should work. So it's recalculating. Again, my setting was formulas, automatic, calculations, automatic. Maybe in the next worksheet, we'll make it automatic except for tables to show you what happens. So this tells me for every price and unit cost, what's my profit? Now, what are some things we learn here? Okay, if we would highlight, basically, we would find out if the unit cost is 30 cents here, We can see the row input cell is unit cost. The column input cell is profit there. And we can see as, for instance, for every price, as the unit cost goes up, our profit drops. Now, if you go down each column, you'll see that the price, the profit goes up for a while and then it drops. See, in other words, if I have a 30 cent unit cost, okay, the highest profit will be right here. Let's try orange there. And if I have a 35% unit cost, the highest profit will be right there. In other words, price, as price goes up, your profit goes up until you raise the price too high in general. Now, your highest profit would be right here. There's a way to automate finding the biggest number in each column, and we'll learn that when we discuss conditional formatting. But for now, let's just highlight, as the cost goes up, what pro price maximizes profit. And it looks like it's always 375 here. Ah, but here it changes. When the cost gets high enough, we pass it on to the consumer and raise the price to $4. So we gain a lot of insights here. We see as the cost goes up for a given price, we'll make less money. And basically the profit maximizing price will go up as the unit cost goes up. So again, this is a two-way data table where we vary two inputs and we looked at the effect on a single output. Inside the table, you can see the row input cell was D3 and the column input cell was D1. We'll do a couple more examples of how powerful a data table to show you how powerful data tables are, and then we'll go on to another great feature of Excel Goal C. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here, and with that one, you can see it's 4 point something, or maybe even 5, I don't think it's 5, yeah, 4.8, and so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there, but again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know, thanks.